Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, before we start this video I would like to ask you a question In the school from home period, do you guys exercise regularly? Well, if you do, do you know that exercise regularly can help to promote the blood flow which can help to maintain the ideal level of blood pressure? Yeah, if you're wondering why should we maintain the ideal level of blood pressure or what is it? Or how that thing works it's your luck because in this video I will elaborate to you how blood pressure works we are aware that our body consists of tube like tunnels called blood vessel which carry the oxygen and nutrition rich blood throughout the body our heart plays a vital role by beating and pumping the blood through the artery which exerts the force on the muscular wall uh, of the blood vessel and this exerted force is called the blood pressure when the heart squeezes and pushes blood into the vessels the blood pressure goes up and this is known as the systolic blood pressure and when the heart relaxes the blood pressure goes down which is known as the diastolic blood pressure now this flow of blood is unstable and changes from time to time, directly impacting the physical and mental health of an individual. So, to keep the track of the flow, these pressures are recorded in the form of millimeters of mercury and are symbolized as mmHg. For a healthy person, the systolic blood pressure is between 90 to 120 mmHg and for the diastolic blood pressure is between 60 to 80 mmHg and the ideal average of both the pressure is considered to be a little less than 120 per 80 mmHg if the systolic pressure increases above 120 mmHg and the diastolic pressure increases above 80 mmHg then the person is said to be suffering from high blood pressure or hypertension this increased pressure in our body are caused by many reasons such as you can adopt it from your parents or if you adopt an unhealthy lifestyle an uneven sleeping pattern stress or if you're consuming an unhealthy food etc but the severe cause behind hypertension is the increase the level of salt in your body contrary to high blood pressure the low blood pressure is when the systolic pressure drops below 90 mmHg and the diastolic pressure drops below 60 mmHg the causes of low blood pressure could be from thyroid conditions such as parathyroid disease adrenal insufficiency, low blood sugar, and in some cases, diabetes. Apart from that, when you lose more water than what it's intake, it can cause weakness, dizziness, and fatigue. Losing a lot of blood from a major injury or internal bleeding reduces the amount of blood in your body, leading to a severe drop in blood pressure. And both the condition can be harm for your health and can be dangerous so what someone shall do if they suffer from the high blood pressure to overcome the problem of high blood pressure we should meditate and exercise regularly eat a healthy diet and most importantly reduce the use of sodium content in your food and if someone is suffer from the low blood pressure, all they need to do to overcome the problem is drink the right amount of water, wear compression stockings, and reduce the amount of blood that gets cut in the lower legs and feet, increase the right amount of salt in food, avoid standing still in place for a long period of time, and lastly, exercise and play to promote blood flow. Well, if any one of you is suffering from the high blood pressure or the low blood pressure, I hope we are 
all in a healthy conditions. So thank you guys for tuning in till the end. I hope you can learn something from my explanation. I deeply apologize if there are any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.